Finance Unit Section 3, Compute Monthly Payments. To compute a monthly payment, we're going to use a loan table. This table will help us determine the monthly payment required to amortize or pay off a $1,000 loan. And we'll see how we can modify this number from the table for any amount that we borrow. On the table, we have across the top the time in years and on the column on the left hand side has the interest rate. So let's take a look at an example and see how that's going to work. In this first problem they're asking is for the monthly payment on a $4,000 loan at 6% interest for three years. The most important thing in computing the monthly payment is to find the intersection of the term in years which is three years so we'll move across the top until we find the column that corresponds with three years and the interest rates. We move down till we get to the row of 6% and where those two intersect gives us what the monthly payment is going to be to pay off a thousand dollars. However, in this example since we're borrowing four thousand dollars which is four times larger than a thousand. If you take four thousand and divide it by one thousand, the value from the table results in a four. We will multiply that monthly amount from the table by four to give us the monthly payment. So this is the amount each month for the next three years the individual will pay for this loan of four thousand dollars. So at the end of those three years, paying $121.68 per month, 12 times a year for three years, or a total of 36 payments, they have paid a total of $4,380.48. They borrowed $4,000, they're paying back this amount, the difference between those two is the cost or the interest paid. So if we take total amount paid over the course of the three years minus the initial amount borrowed, that will give us the interest or the cost of this loan. In the second example, they're asking us what are the monthly payments on a $15,000 loan at 6.5% interest for five years. We use our monthly payment table. We're going to identify the column that corresponds with the term of this loan which is five years. We'll find the row that corresponds with the interest rate where those two intersect is the value that we use for the monthly payment. But we need to modify it since this isn't a loan for a thousand dollars it's a loan for fifteen thousand dollars which is fifteen times as much as the table is set up for. If you take the loan amount divided by the thousand dollars from the table, it gives us a multiple of 15. So taking the value from the table, multiplying it by 15, we have calculated the monthly payment for this loan. So each month, this individual will pay $293.55. There's 12 months in a year, over the course of the term of this loan, five years, results in a total amount of $17,613. Once we have the total amount paid, compared to the initial amount that was borrowed, the difference between those two values will give us the interest paid or the cost of this loan.